Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I, Aaron Deva Priyam, servant of God, once again coming to you all in the mighty presence of God. And what a privilege that God has given for every one of us again and again coming into the presence of God. Praise God and thank you Jesus and thank you Holy Spirit as well. Praise God. Dear friends, this is the privilege that God has given and make sure not to lose anything but gain everything in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Shall we all bow on our heads, close our eyes and meditate the presence of God. Our gracious heavenly Father almighty God, we thank you and praise you Father. Master God, we give thanks to you for this wonderful privilege. You are our God, an awesome God, living God, wonderful God, King of the universe, most high God, Lord of hosts, we thank you and praise you, Father. We thank you for the wonderful Master God, the shelter you have given under your great mighty wings, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for your right hand that you are holding us, Master God. And thank you, Lord, that you have kept us on your bosom, Father God, and showing that great warmness and shelter as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Master God, lead us and guide us, Lord, to penetrate, Master God, Father, having this, Master God, the double sword, word of God to penetrate us. And Master God, fill us with the power of the Holy Spirit. And Master God, we rebuke the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Master, every brother and sister and child, whoever watching this video right now, be touch them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen. God's people say, Amen and Amen. Praise God. Dear friends, according to the revelation, we are seeing some prominent words as I said before. Let us see the word, the seal of God. Somebody say Amen. Praise God. Seal of God. What is that seal of God? What is that seal? What it means, the seal? Seal is an authority. Seal is holding a confidential matter. Seal is holding a secret, a mystery. Praise God. And what is that seal of God? That means God himself put this seal. And that is what the word of God is talking about. Dear friends, we are seeing the seal of God. And that is appears to be that in John chapter 6 verse 27. If you see that Jesus himself, he, he says, John verse chapter 6 verse 27. Do not labor for the food which perish, perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life. Praise God, which the Son of Man will give you. Because, listen carefully, God the Father has set his seal on him. That means, Father God, he has set a seal on Jesus Christ. Praise God. And what is that seal exactly, my dear friend? That is what the word of God today, God would like to give us that. Even if you see 2 Timothy chapter 2.19, Revelation chapter 6 verse 9, and of course our topic is there in the Revelation chapter 7, that is the actual meditation we are going to go through that seal of God, and Revelation chapter 9 verse 4 as well, they talks about the seal of God. So the person sealed by a God, this is what we are seeing here. A person who are sealed by God. So sealed by God is the seal of God. Somebody say Amen. Praise God. Now today the question is, after this the objective question is, are you able to have, are you able to have the seal of God right now in your life or not? It gives the ultimate, my dear friend, if you do not have the seal of God, you had it. That is what the word of God is talking about. So we see that the word sealed it. 
and that's what the world sealed it it is appears to be in new testament in revelation and that is nothing but the according to the greek word meaning is to stamp seal is to stamp making a a mark a mark of sealing that's what the seal did that the seal of god and of course seals were they were used in the roman empire time and those duration it has been sealed for the documents purpose sealing the a superior authority holding the authority on a certain particular uh, documents and only the authority given for the a authorized person only can break it that is the seal so in revelation chapter 7 verse 3 to 4 if you go through that verse uh, chapter 9 verse 4 it refers to be the seal of god let me read it for you that one if you have bible please open your bibles and read that revelation chapter 7 verse 3 to 4 let us read that we can say saying do not harm the earth the sea or the trees till we have sealed it the servants of our god so here the angel is telling the four angels who are going to destroy according to the revelation chapter 7 so the another angel is coming please wait let us finish the work that is the seal of god to put seal of god upon the servants of god then you can go ahead first let me put the seal first that is what the word of god is talking about my dear friends even a uh, uh, revelation chapter 9 verse 4 when you see that you can see here they were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree but only those men who do not have the seal of god on their foreheads this is a very important thing so the seal of god it appears to be the most important thing otherwise what happens is here the destruction is going to come that is what we are saying so before the before the destruction it is better to have the seal of god praise god dear friends here during the uh, during the time of the tribulation period the seal of god it appears to be the most important thing for every individual especially people from the jewish point of view god has given a wonderful privilege for the people that who are coming upon for the presence of god and jewish people we know that uh, 144000 jewish people that means 12 tribes from each tribe 12000 people are chosen so 12 into 12000 it is appears to be 144 thousands of believers who are going to be the sealed by the seal of god praise god now when you see that seal of god it appears to be in a, even in the second timothy chapter 219 everyone who confess the name of the lord must turn away from the wickedness so whoever confess the name of the lord they turn away from the wickedness because they are no more under the wickedness but having under the seal of god praise god ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 even says that the church foundation has been laid and the eternal seal and that's what the seal of god appears to be for the church so the inscription sums up as a of the faith praise god that's what the seal of god talking about my dear friend so here we can see that a uh, people the people a people or the honorable people and then we see that dishonorable people the people who are honorable they will have the seal of god and those honorable vessels will be used for god in different aspects and that's what the 
a wonderful uh, uh, word of god is talking about dear friends even jesus christ himself had a, he bore the seal of god what a wonderful mystery of this jesus christ himself seal of god so we that's what the word of god is telling john chapter 6 verse 27 we saw that uh, it here the father has placed his seal of approval on jesus christ of nazareth so seal of god and that's what the word of god is saying in the in the in the before the tribulation period what is the seal of god is that the seal of god now it seal of god it appears to be resembles that we see that when israelites leaving the egypt god said that you have to put set a, a lamb's blood on the every israel the and of the door steps we are seeing the door post we are putting the blood of the lamb and wherever the blood of the lamb is there the 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 angel of the lord is not destroying them kill them but pass over praise god so there was a seal a replicable it is seal of the lamb's blood praise god yeah when a day man and jesus himself bore the seal and now after that jesus himself is seal of god for every one of us that's what the word of god is talking about here we can see the word in ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 and 14 if you see that ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 and 14 we see that a wonderful explanation about the seal of god let me read it for you ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 and 14 here it says in him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also having believed you were sealed with the holy spirit of promise somebody say amen here you were sealed with the holy spirit praise god so sealed with what the holy spirit praise god and how the holy spirit it comes and it is guaranteed for our inheritance until the redemption the purchase to possession to the praise of his glory praise god ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 to 14 it says that the seal of god is the holy spirit praise god acts chapter 2 verse 38 let me read it that's a very very important thing because that solves our problem right now my dear friends acts chapter 2 verse 38 just the spirit of god is telling me to read that acts chapter 2 verse 38 let me read that then peter said to him repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of jesus christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the holy spirit amen praise the lord somebody say amen praise god so you once we repent and be baptized in the name of jesus christ of nazareth then we know that we are going to receive the holy spirit we are going to receive the seal of god praise god seal of god now put the question how many of us having the seal of god and whoever having the seal of god those names will be written in the book of life of lamb of god praise god when you come to the again to the revelation it talks about the tribulation period seal of god tribulation period seal of god the angel of the lord comes to the every believer of jesus christ whoever confess jesus christ is the son of god at the time of the tribulation period we see that uh, tau of the, the jewish people and even the great multitude peoples are coming 
let me read it in Revelation chapter 7. Revelation chapter 7, we are seeing that here, verse 4, and I heard the number of those who were sealed. Listen carefully, my dear friend. I heard the number of those who were sealed. 144,000 of all tribes of children of Israel were sealed. Praise God. This is from the word of God. Revelation chapter 7 verse 5. So how many? 144,000. 144,000. Each of the 12 tribes of Israel, each tribe 12,000 people, 12,000 into 12, 144,000 people are been sealed. Praise God. And not only that, it's the only 1,000, they, the, they were the Jewish people. Praise God. And also there are the people who got received the seal of God in the time of tribulation. And that is verse 9. After these things I looked and behold a great multitude. Somebody say Amen. Great multitude. No number here. Countless. Great multitude which no one could number. Praise God. So what it shows? There is no number. Unlimited. Praise God. Believers are going to come in the tribulation period as well. Praise God. Bad news for the devil. Amen. Praise God. And what it says, it is no one could number of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands. So palm branches and they came, Lord, they were welcomed the, for the people of the King of the King, King of Jews. That's what it happened on Palm Sunday when Jesus was coming on donkey, entering into the gates of the Jerusalem. And there we have, we have seen that the palm tree branches they were taking, they were telling, Hallelujah, King of the Jews, praise God, welcome, they said, yes, now literally it happens and they were holding how many from all the nations in the tribulation period, my dear friends, please note that in the tribulation period, from all the nation, Gentiles and everybody they comes and they all receive the seal of God, praise God. Now we must be very, very careful that is salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Praise God. Now make sure one important thing. This is the topic of in the time of the tribulation period. But in the time of pre-tribulation period, that means now, then what is the seal of God? And that is what the seal of God through the blood of Jesus Christ, we receive the Holy Spirit. Praise God. So Holy Spirit is the seal of God. What is the Holy Spirit? It is the deposit of the Spirit of God in you, in you and in me. Praise God. Whoever accepts Jesus Christ and use the blood of Jesus Christ to wash themselves and have the repentance in the presence of God their sins will forgiven and have the born again experience called the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ coming through by his grace and through our faith keeping on the presence of God and that is what the sin comes upon us and that is what the Holy Spirit God is the seal of God now, how many of us having the seal of God? How many of us? So, seal of God, if you need seal of God, you need the blood of Jesus Christ. So, the blood of Jesus Christ is the root of seal of God. 
and that's why the seal of God was upon him according to John chapter 6 verse 27 and that true that from Jesus Christ the seal of God comes out true from his blood and when we use the blood to wash up ourselves and the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit and that is what the seal of God sits on our forehead and we are eligible in the book of life before the tribulation period itself and lifted up in the rapture time. Somebody say Amen. Praise God. Dear friends, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 22 and chapter 5 verse 5, chapter 5 verse 5 they also talks about the spirit of god is the deposit so god will put the deposit in us and that is the seal of god praise god and we have seen already ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 to 14 and even ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 talks about that the holy spirit is the God seal on his people. Praise God. And he's claimed that on, on us as his very own spirit. That is the seal of God. So we are seeing that the gift of the spirit to the believers is a down payment on our heavenly inheritance. So when we have the seal of God, we have the inheritance ship in heaven and we have the a wonderful gifts that comes from the Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23. The gifts of Spirit of God is the benefit of the deposit happened in your life and in my life by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that is what the, the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is a, it is a, a given to the believers as the first in installment to assure us the full inheritance ship in heaven as a God's children. Praise God. So it, it confirms us that the Holy Spirit is a wonderful gift and that becomes the seal of God for every one of us. And that is what Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 9. It says that God who grant to us his spirit as a gift. Just as grace and faith are gifts. Praise God. Amen. So we go through this. That the Holy Spirit and his teachings are actually a guiding power. And we are sealed and confirmed. Until the day of the redemption. Praise God. Dear friends, how do we get sealed? We get sealed by freely given. Jesus Christ, he has paid his blood as a ransom for every one of us. And that's what the seal of God. Have you got the seal of God now? Dear friend, it is a time that whoever have the seal of God, those names will be written in the book of life of Lamb of God. Praise God. And whoever not having the seal of God, and that is through the blood of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and those names will not enter into the book of life. So horrible. If we die without Jesus, we will not be in the time of the rapture, my dear friend. But if you die with Jesus, we will be lifted up and transformed into the translated bodies. When Jesus Christ comes up to the midair and all rapture takes place. And we are having the seal of God if we are alive, Jesus comes today. I, you, will be lifted up there and instantly will push off. Our clothes and things will be here. But our bodies will be transformed into the spiritual bodies, lifted up into the presence of God. Somebody say Amen. Praise God. And in the Revelation chapter 7, when you go through that chapter 7, it appears to be a wonderful uh, details God has given there. And that's what the Revelation chapter 7, it says that uh, a, a wonderful, uh, this thing, the seal of Israel. 
so here god has given the seal of god and that time the people who are in the time of the uh, time of the uh, i mean uh, the tribulation period so the seal will be given for the people who are listening that's why those two witnesses will be coming the servants of god and they preach the word of god and whoever accept they will receive the seal of god and of all these people as we read in revelation chapter 7 verse 4 to 8 we are seeing the israel jewish people are coming to the presence of god and they receive the seal of god and then there we see that multitude from great tribulation there are multitude from all the nations and everybody they will receive the seal of god and uh, all the angels they stood around the throne of elders and the four living creatures and fell on their faces before the throne and uh, worshiped god praise god dear friends this is the time of tribulation period where that we are talking about but today the seal of God also is the Holy Spirit through the blood of Jesus Christ. So seal of God, it makes us first of all the protection. It gives a, a protection. That's what we are seeing. It can give a, a, a appearance of the Jesus Christ in me. The believer of Jesus Christ. The born again believer of Jesus Christ. So that is the seal of God and it gives the protection. And that's what we are seeing the, the, the we, are, we are under control of the spirit of God. The protection it comes. So we, 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 we can see that Mark chapter 13 verse 27 and uh, even Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 36, Daniel chapter 7 verse 2, it talks about the, it is a, a symbolic a symbolic coverage of the guidance of the spirit of God and that is the seal of God production my dear friend so we can see that uh, even the angel with God's seal verse 2 and 3 we are seeing that then the then I saw angel ascending from the east having the seal of living God so angels also holding the seal of God and Jesus himself, the Father God, put the seal of God. And all God's servants, seal of God. Either pre-tribulation period or in tribulation period, seal of God. So have you got that seal, my dear friend? And that is what the word of God is talking today. So the spirit, the spiritual seed of God is the a pictured as a a mark on the foreheads of God's servants. Praise God. So if you, if you see the forehead of a, a believer, there is the seal of God. Praise God. So this is on hold. This, for these people are engaged. These people are chosen. Whoever having the seal of God, seal of Lord Jesus Christ, seal of heavenly father whoever having that they are chosen they are reserved they are protected and the authority of god given to them somebody say amen praise god so whoever having the seal of a god they have an authority of heavenly father that is the power of the holy spirit praise god can you believe that it happened in your life dear friend don't just lose the time and miss this great opportunity and finally ended up with the second second resurrection that leads to the lake of fire the seal of forehead is repeated even in the book Revelation chapter 9 verse 4, chapter 14 verse 1, chapter 22 verse 4 and even in Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4, it stands that the, the forehead, the sin on the forehead. So we know very well 
There is a one type of seal is going to come in the time of tribulation that is called mark of the beast. That is the seal of the devil. It's a time which mentions that triple six. The seal has been done those who do not covered by the blood of the lamb. So whoever not having the blood of Jesus Christ coverage, they all will be trapped and they will be accepting Antichrist and they receive the seal of triple six, the seal of their fate for the dying forever in the lake of fire. And those people only will accept. But the people who are having the coverage and received the seal of God, they will not accept. Rather, they will receive the white robe. Praise God. The white robe believers. And that is what they washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And their robe became white. So that shows the purity. There is no impurity in the time of tribulation. Now, we have through the blood of Christ. We receive the Holy Spirit. Yes, we do have the white robe. Praise God. That is the white dress of Jesus Christ. Paul says, I wear the white dress. I am in white. Praise God. And the whiteness is the Spirit of God. Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. And it is gives the, a protection. So there is a lot of people protected in this. That's why even the multitudes, they come and receive the seal of God. Revelation chapter 7 verse 4 to 8 and uh, even verse 9 to 11. We are seeing that uh, all types of people are coming. One is 144,000 witness. The people are coming, they are receiving. And uh, another is there is a multitude people from all the countries, all the nations. They are coming and uh, behold a great multitude which no man could number it seems countless so how many how many are uh, coming to the presence of god and receiving the seal of god in the time of the left behind multitude without a number countless people praise god and that's what we are seeing here so here uh, we are also seeing that this reminds even they are holding the palm trees, palm tree branches. So that is what it resembles John chapter 12 verse 13. We are seeing that uh, palms and Jesus triumphal entry into the Jerusalem. And yes, every people they celebrated saying the king of the Jews. Yes, the king of Jews. Jews in sense, every believer of Jesus Christ. That's what the spiritual meaning of Jews. Jesus evangelical and worker. Jesus evangelical worker. J-E-W. Jew means it is the servant of Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. So the white robe, it is a, 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 a baptismal garb of many churches. The white robe. So the white robe, it makes that we are already holded by, sealed by the power of God, the living Lord Jesus Christ. So white color, it makes symbolism of a, a symbolized purity. Praise God. So this is what it happens, my dear friend. So Jesus Christ, he himself and becomes the seal of God for every one of us now. And that time also people are coming. So we are seeing that a heavenly throne. So the heaven opens and all the angels stood around the throne and about the elders and four beasts and fell before the throne of the to worship God. So that is the throne, the celebration of the great, the kingdom of God. Praise God. So this is what uh, happens, uh, the seal of God. And that seal of God, it gives the, a blood of protection. So through the blood of Jesus Christ, we are protected. Revelation chapter 7 verse 13 to uh, verse 13, we see. Then one of the elders answered and saying to me, Who are these white robes and where did they come from? 
and I said to him, John, Sir, you know. So he said to me, These are ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Praise the Lord. Somebody say Amen. Who were sealed in the tribulation period? Who were washed by the blood of Jesus Christ? In the pre-tribulation period, who are all washed by the blood of Jesus? You and me. Somebody say Amen. Be proud to say that. We are how boosted in the spirit of God. Who were washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. They are having white robe and having the seal of God. Praise God. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy God. We are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 and 14. It says that washed in the blood. And that's what uh, we are sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that is the Holy Spirit. Praise God. And even we are seeing that uh, here the Spirit of God. He says that uh, in Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. They are faithful and to the, until the death. In the tribulation period. Till the death they were faithful. There are so many people martyred. They were faithful to die for Christ. Those tribulation period. Even now, we are also faithful. We also must be faithful to God until the death. For whatever persecution, whatever the situation, whatever uh, your uh, health uh, regard, whatever your uh, financial crisis, whatever the situation, but live for the Christ by the living word of God and God will rescue us because he is our rescuer. Praise God. Maybe you may have the health regard problem. You may have the disease. You may have the virus. You may have anything. But believe in the name of Jesus Christ. And be ready even to die. It doesn't matter. Be it because we, we are going to have the everlasting life. In the presence of God. And that is the power of sin of God. Praise God. Thank you Holy Spirit. And we see that we are receiving, going to receive the great, the great wonderful judgment. And that's what uh, we are going to see uh, about the, regarding the next message, judgment of God. And that is the judgment seat of Lord Jesus Christ. That is the judgment for the believers where the reward is going to come. And the wonderful crowns are going to come. Yes, crown of righteousness, a great crown. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8 and then crown of incorruptible crown and that is what 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 crown of life James 1 12 and that's what crown of life will be received in the people from the tribulation period more people going to receive the crown of life because until the death they are staying for Lord Jesus Christ and then crown of glory, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 2 to 4. Crown of glory. And finally, crown of rejoicing, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19. So, almost spiritually, according to the word of God, references five crowns will be available. And those crowns, any one of one crown, we are going to get. Some of the people who are, how much we are doing, the reward comes from the heavenly father and that's what the crown of life comes praise god dear friends seal of god gives the privilege to getting into the a great privilege the judgment seat of lord jesus christ and that is the judgment for the believers and there are five crowns anyone or any number crowns we may get received and that depends on today Today, how the way you are living for Christ? How the way are you namesake Christian? Are you even given the talents, even born again believer? Are you able to work for the Lord? Or are you just using for the worldly sake and only giving little time for God? This all will be calculated and given accordingly. The crown of life, crown of glory, crown of rejoicing, crown of the incorruptible crown and crown of righteousness.
praise god so here we see that uh, the blood of jesus christ is the a price for our sins and that gives the privilege to get the seal of god praise god and that's a divine meaning that we will receive the forgiveness and then we are eligible for the seal of god praise god hebrew chapter 9 verse 22 it teaches the blood must be shed for the sins to be forgiven and that's what jesus christ he has done it for us and then we see that it is fulfilled in the god service receiving the seal of god it is fulfillment of god and that's what let us read verse 15 verse 15 therefore they are before the throne of god and service him day and night in his temple and he who sits on the throne will dwell among them praise god so whoever having the seal of god Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, He will dwell among them. Praise God. What a wonderful privilege, my dear friend. And that's what the word of God is, is talking about. So, it is uh, protected by the mighty Lamb. Praise God. Once we receive by, the, by having the seal of God, and we are protected by the mighty Lamb. Protected by the mighty Lamb. We will see that Verse 16 and 17. There shall neither hunger anymore nor thirst anymore. The sun shall not strike them nor any heat. Praise the Lord. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them. Shepherd whom? Yes. Whoever having the seal of God. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Praise the Lord. Whoever having the seal of God, their tears will be wiped off in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise God. So this is what uh, the word of God, he, he, he has given a wonderful thing that in Isaiah chapter 49 verse 10, the center of throne is the center of throne is the Lamb, Jesus Christ. And the Lamb is center of our lives. Jesus is center of our lives. So through the blood of Jesus, having the Holy Spirit is the seal of God for a believers. In the time of the tribulation, the seal of God comes through the same blood of the Lamb, blood of Jesus. So, blood of Jesus Christ is ultimate for the seal of God. Somebody say Amen. Praise God. Dear friends, catch this mystery. Catch this secret. Catch this. Because seal of God gives an authority of God for us. Because we are under authority of God. Praise God. Even Paul, he, he, he says in uh, Romans chapter 5 verse 5, 9, he says that uh, Christ's blood, we are justified by Christ's blood and we are saved from God's wrath. So what is the ultimate? Ultimate is blood of Jesus Christ, my dear friend. Peter says, he, he says in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 18 and 19, he says that uh, we have redeemed from our from useless lives by the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise God. We are redeemed from the useless life by the blood of Jesus Christ. Paul, he says in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14, again he says that uh, uh, blood of Christ purifies us. So that we can worship God. Praise God. How can we worship God? That is. The blood of Christ. He purifies us. Praise God. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 5. He says that John is opening. And he says the blood of Jesus Christ. Makes us free from the. Enslavement of sin. Praise God. What a wonderful God. So. Paul, he put very clearly 
the Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures as fulfilled in 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verse 3. Dear friends, have you got the seal of God? Have you received the seal of God now? We are not under the now in the tribulation period. That is sure. We are before tribulation. Yes, now. So have you received the seal of God? Be prepared for the rapture. Rapture comes before the tribulation. The church of God, church of Lord Jesus Christ will be lifted up in the rapture. It will not be in the time of tribulation period. Tribulation period for the chosen people of Jewish Israelites and other Gentiles as well. But the tough time. But if you are there, yes, there also the seal of God only will can serve. There the mark of beast, triple six, whoever receives, the people who are not under the seal of God, they will receive that mark. Whereas people who are having the seal of God, they will not receive this, the mark of beast. Even now, the corruption, sin of the devil, is there for us to destroy. So let us get rid of from that my dear friend. And have the seal of God. Through the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So let the seal of God. Will give us the privilege to get into the. Names in the book of life. And have the part of the, the rapture. That is ours. And in the tribulation period, whoever accepts Jesus Christ and asks the forgiveness and recognizes Jesus is the Messiah who already came 2,000 years back. And they will receive the seal of God as well. So ultimate, whoever having the seal of God through the blood of Jesus Christ and having the Holy Spirit, they are the only in the part of with Jesus Christ in the everlasting life. Amen. So seal of God is ultimate. Praise God. Jesus himself got seal of God because he is God. He, he himself is the seal of a God and that is the power of the Holy Spirit having upon us. May God bless you all. Shall we all bow on our heads and close our eyes and meditate the presence of God and having the communion of the Holy Spirit which is the seal of God now. Praise God. Gracious Heavenly Father Almighty God. God of Heaven, Son, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Most High God. Lord of Hosts, we thank you and praise you, praise you, praise you Father. Wonderful God, awesome God, living God, mighty God, powerful God. Master God, you are the seal of God. Lord Jesus, through your Master God, blood of Jesus Christ, Lord. When we ask forgiveness and receive the salvation, we receive the Holy Spirit. That is the seal of God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father God. How the coverage, Master God. Master, I pray for every brother and sister right now. Receive them, Master God. Have them the seal of God right now. Accept, Father. Give that knowledge right now. Open their hearts. Open their brains right now. And Master God, to see the seal of God and receive it. And secure their life to receive the inheritance. Heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy God. Wonderful God. Wonderful God. In the time of tribulation, Master God, you are giving that wonderful opportunity for 144,000 people. Master God, Father God, you are giving the privilege to receive the seal of God. And also the great uncountable number of multitudes will be coming around all the nations. And receive the seal of God with a white robe. And they are also much receiving the crown of life. Praise God. Wonderful five crowns. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And those crowns are master getting prepared for the reward for us, Father God. Whoever master God, for whatsoever master God stand for the Christ Jesus. Father God will receive the great crowns. But the 
ultimate is whoever having the seal of God. Master God, I pray for every brother and sister and child. Bless them abundantly. No one, Master God, to get miss of this seal of God, but have the seal of God that is through the blood of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. Whoever having the seal of God, their names will be written in the book of life. And they are the in from the book. In the tribulation period, whoever received the seal of God, they are directly master God entering into the Father God in your presence, the kingdom of God. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, once again. Father God, lead us and guide us. We rebuke the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who are bringing all uh, Master God, the rubbish uh, doctrines and all the type of things, Master God. We rebuke Master God. Be free. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you Holy Spirit once again. Father God lead us and guide us in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen. May the love of our Heavenly Father Almighty God. The Holy One. The Great God. Father God Yahweh be upon us. And our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit. Father God. The sin of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit, who is the seal of God, be upon us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Dear old friends, once again, praise God. Let me see the seal of God from the revelation point of view. And make sure that you are received that today, the seal of God. It is just to lean, depends upon your repentance of your sins. And forgiven through the blood of Jesus Christ. And receive the spirit of God. That is the seal of God. The Holy Spirit. And tribulation period. Of course. They all will be given a great opportunity. The tough time. But they are also seal of God is the ultimate. Praise God. May God bless you all. Please be in touch through the word of God. To have the seal of God. And see you in the next video. Praise God in Jesus mighty name. And God's people said. Amen and amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God.